Hi everyone, we are covering BSCI 2025 in London, UK. We are at BMT booth and we have Andy Kimber, Chief Naval Architect of the BMT company with us together. Uh, they showcase Elida Strike, a new design of the company. Andy, uh, can you please tell us about this uh, new design? So Elida Strike is our uh, latest amphibious design. Um, it's part of our, our Elida family that we've been developing over the last five or six years of different sizes and configurations of amphibious warfare ship. But with the leader strike, we, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, the aim, as the name suggests, is that a leader strike is not just uh, a conventional amphibious warfare vessel that takes troops and over a, a defined distance and then deploys them over a beach. It's much more a integrated ship that provides a strike capability and the ability to support the car force over a bit period of time, the conducting operation and providing a lot more flexibility built into the ship uh, than a conventional sort of LPD design can. Uh, yes, this uh, vessel is more than an amphibious ship uh, with its strike cap capabilities. Can we uh, delve into the specifications uh, a bit more detail about the ship? So, in terms of uh, its ability to deploy an embark force, uh, a ship has a weld on its stern, uh, taking two large uh, utility landing craft, uh, but it also has direct launched uh, insertion craft, and both the insertion craft and the utility craft are designed to operate at a distance. So, a, a leader strike will be somewhat uh, away from the main area of operations and deploying those troops over a distance. We also have a large flight deck, essentially two spot flight deck or hut to a size helicopter, and a very large hangar for taking up as a four medium sized trip carrying the helicopters. So far, that's sort of reasonably conventional. Um, within the main body of the ship, we have what we're calling the multi roll deck. So, this deck, uh, which has about 700 lane meters of vehicle space, there's much more than that. We're designing it so the space can be subdivided. So as well as being used to carry vehicles, it can be sectioned off so that areas of it can be used for carrying modular capabilities. So that could be a medical facility or additional command facilities or other mission needs that are not built into the ship. So that's where it starts to move away. Other areas are, for example, traditionally an amphibious ship has a reasonably austere accommodation for its troops because they're not on food uh, for a very long period. But with a leader strike, we're moving towards the future concept where that mission force will not just be deploying as a single mass, but as a strike platform, what it's doing is it's sending smaller groups of troops ashore to conduct a mission and then extracting them and then moving on to the next strike mission. So we've designed the accommodation and the facilities for the embarked force to a higher standard. So the accommodation for all those troops is hot, but online to the, the same standard as we would see for the actual crew. Uh, so the whole ship can operate as an integrated mission platform uh, for an extended period in theatre, supporting that mission in force under an uh, uh, extended duration. Yes. The, during an amphibious operation, it can provide its own naval gunfire support, as, as you mentioned. That's, uh, that's a unique solution as far as I see. And thanks to its uh, medical facilities, and uh, its capabilities in terms of command and control, it can it will have a wide range of missions as far as I see, and it can be used in uh, disaster relief or peacekeeping operations as well, right? Yes, exactly. It's what what we've aimed to do with the leader strike, and it's worth saying that when we developed this concept, we made a conscious decision to design a ship that that had everything. Uh, and then as we engage with customers, we can then tailor the design and tailor the size as necessary uh, according to each customer's needs. But what we're doing with this particular concept is illustrating all of the capabilities within one platform, highly flexible ship, 
that, as we said, like a, an LPD, it has the dock and it has the flight deck and it has the accommodation. But what we've tried to do is make that those uh, areas much more flexible. So as well as just carrying the troops, just carrying landing craft, yeah. the mission can be tailored. So it could be a mix of troops, but uh, it could, for example, rather than carry uh, just troops, you could bring on board uh, an autonomous mission capability with all of its operators to work alongside the troops. So it's about making the facilities on the ship as flexible as we can to give navies a tool that they can customise as situations develop because today that's uh, a crucial thing for many navies they need platforms that are adapt to the evolving world situations. Thanks for the information, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much.